Hey everyone, so in today's video I want to review a product that is brand new from The Body Shop, the Nicaraguan Coffee Intense Awakening Mask. So I personally love coffee and the fact that The Body Shop is finding a way to take products that we love and putting them into powerful skincare is amazing. So just like coffee, when we take coffee in the morning to wake us up for the day and help us start, this product claims to do the same thing for your skin. I did a little bit of research because um, the Body Shop has stopped using the packaging, so it doesn't tell you the claims on the fine print. But when I look on the website, it says that this mask right here will help skin that is fatigued, that's tireless, that's um, if you have circles or maybe some flushing because you didn't um, sleep as much, this mask will help to alleviate that. I don't necessarily have that myself because I tend to get in a sleeping pattern. I used to last year and I probably needed something like this. Uh, but it also claims that this will help to exfoliate the skin. It has an intense coffee scent and it is composed of community trade sesame seed oil from Nicaragua, community trade cocoa butter and shea butter from Ghana, and community trade cane sugar from Paraguay. It will help to reduce the signs of fatigue so skin feels awakened, cleared of impurities, and looks more radiant and pores look refined. Warming and energizing face mask for skin that looks dull, uneven, and rough. So. I'm assuming there's also the coffee grounds in here or the um, extract of it. If I open this up, mm, it smells just like coffee. And if you guys can see this, it almost looks like if you guys go into the coffee shop, the coffee grounds at the top of the one of the machines, it looks like there's pieces of coffee in there too. I heard that a lot of these masks could even regenerate. I'm um, not regenerate, but revitalize the skin because coffee itself, the alkaloid, is very powerful. Just like it wakes us up, our body does absorb some of the caffeine. So if you are on a caffeine-free diet, I don't know if this product's for you. Um, you know, do your own research into that. But let me apply this. It's very, very thick. If you guys can see, very rich texture. I love the smell of this. If you guys like the smell of chocolate and coffee, this is definitely for you. I'm actually surprised the Body Shop um, as of yet did not make a coffee line because I can imagine them doing something like either an anti-aging line or some kind of serum um, for dull looking, um, tired skin. That would probably go over really well with a lot of us consumers that like that. <laughs> it's definitely a very thick mask, probably one of the thickest in the expert facial mask collection. I definitely feel like a little bit of a tingling, warm feeling. Just started setting in. I like to kind of work this in with the brush because the brush does a good job at helping with that. All right, so I am all um, applied. I'm gonna process this for the full 10 minutes. Probably gonna have a glass of wine or something. Um, and I kind of look like a mini mud monster, so I actually kind of like this. It's definitely very aromatic and relaxing. And I'll see you guys um, when I come back. So you guys, I am really impressed with this. If you guys can see, my skin is absolutely glowing. It feels a lot softer, it feels very exfoliated, it feels very refreshed. What I like the most about this mask is that the it's very aromatic and that's what's usually 
um, special about the Expert Facial Mask Collection is that the products are very concentrated, they're very strong, they actually do what they say, whereas the other products that are masks are decent, but they don't come to this level as being like expert quality. I like how it gives you the nice warming effect. It's almost like the warming clay ginger, but you can actually take it and massage it. And when you do that, you just get all that dead skin off and look at how tight and firm and shiny everything is. I tend to get dark circles here, which they're still there, but they do look a lot better. And up here is super revived and refreshed. Coffee is a very um, healing plant. And when you take caffeine, the active ingredient, and you put it in your hair and your skincare, it's a really good stimulant for the skin and hair. I've known that certain um, lines will use caffeine extract in shampoos to help regrow hair or circulation. And it would only seem natural that doing it on the skin would also help um, getting a revitalizing effect. I do wanna make a notice on this um, because I thought it was a little bit funny when I was reading this, the fine print. It says not for consumption. I know some people like to be silly and try products. Um, please do not eat this mask. I know it sounds silly I have to say that, but it's not just coffee and chocolate. Like when you make your own products at home, you know what's in them. So if you eat them, you're not gonna get like sick sick. You might get an upset stomach. But because this product is being manufactured, there's other things in there other than the chocolate and the coffee, and that can make you sick. So this is for your skin only, not for consumption. Um, this is also vegan too. It's 100% vegan, not tested on animals. So if you have a vegan loved one, this is a good product to get for their birthday or any kind of holiday. It does have coffee seed powder in there from Arabica beans, which is pretty cool. And it does its job. It's a great product. I could definitely see this working really well with the drops of youth, the oils of life, um, the roots of strength for that exfoliating effect, and maybe even the vitamin C line. Um, it definitely is a mask that I would recommend in my everyday skincare routine. It's one of my personal favorites now. I would actually be interested in combining this because I know the Body Shop encourages combining and mixing and matching the expert face masks. Combining this with the green tea mask for a detox and energizing effect. So first layering on a layer of the green tea mask and then putting this over it. So you get the detoxing effect from the green tea, but the energizing and revitalizing properties of the caffeine mask. But it's a great product, very aromatic. I want to know from my viewers down below, have you guys tried the Nicaraguan coffee mask or have you tried any other products that have coffee in them? I've done one detox mask that I really like and I'll be reviewing it on this channel. So until then, stay tuned and I'll see you guys soon. Um, let me know what products you like from Body Shop. Have you tried this? And I'll be on with more videos and more products to review for you guys in the future.